Hi Luxurious Queens, welcome back to Life with Loki and today I will be sharing with you my designer fine jewellery minimalist capsule collection. Somehow I feel myself more drawn to little trinkets and fine jewellery. I thought it will be nice to just share with you guys my little collection before we start curating a few more pieces. Well, if you're new here, welcome to my channel and my name is Loki. As usual, I love chit-chatting and sharing about luxury and handbags. I love thrift shopping and vintage hunting and all that sort. So if you enjoy content like this, then do remember to subscribe and join my safe space where we enjoy and share about these topics together. For a start, let's look at some everyday pieces which I never take them off. Alright, so I have here my engagement ring, which I adore so much. This beautiful gem is a 1.5 carat diamond in white gold setting. Um, I chose the simplest design with six prongs. Um, and the band part here narrows down a little just towards the diamond uh, to make it stand out a little more. This is by far the hardiest piece I have as I can remember I've accidentally scratched it against things or bumped my hand as I walk and this ring still looks as good as new. I really ought to wash this ring soon as I can see the grime and frostings on the side. But I really love like the setting. And next, which is another everyday piece I wear, is my wedding band. And this ring was purchased from a local jeweler and it's also in the simplest design I could imagine. This ring is also set in white gold and I love how classic white gold looked against my skin tone. So I didn't want all the diamonds to stand out too much, hence this size was chosen. I really don't know what setting this is in, but I will show you a picture of it. I will show you um, up close. This gorgeous piece is made of, uh, of a row of 13 small diamonds which makes up half of the ring and the other half of it is just white gold itself. So that's just the plain bit which sits behind and of course we have the diamond bit which will just show it up there. And I... Um, quite like this the setting of this as the diamonds are kind of embedded which also means um, the prongs do not stick out too much and scratch my adjacent fingers although I know some people do find wearing their rings quite annoying and remove it when showering or when they get home but for me I am quite used to wearing these two rings and they cause uh, and they do not cause scarves on my other finger so these are my everyday jewelry and I love them to bits Along the lines of white gold, I have some gorgeous silver pieces from Hermes. My first piece is a very sought after popular item which is always out of stock at my local boutique. And this is the Chandon ring in silver. I was quite fortunate to purchase this on my first visit to the Paris flagship store this year and I was too fortunate that the boutique had stopped for this uh, ring in my size. I always love the silver look against my skin tone and I feel it looks so classic and to be honest the price of this ring was remarkably affordable because it is not really a statement ring due to its Simplicity, I find this ring so easy to use and pair with anything. Doesn't it look gorgeous? And like with my white gold, it looks perfect, blends in quite well, and I love it. Here we go. My next very lucky find from Hermes is also in silver, which I am so thrilled to have added to my collection and all thanks to my gorgeous SA who suggested this piece. And this is the... this ring, also in silver. When I looked at their website, there is quite another, another quite similar version ring which looks just like this from the front bit. Uh, but uh, without the movable chains, which is this part here. This version which I have 
is uh, so unique to me as I adore the moving parts of it, which I feel is so special. This ring, as compared to the previous one, is a bit more chunky in design and a tad more statement. So usually for this piece, I choose to wear it alone. So let's see how it looks. It's gorgeous. So I can choose like the bulk of the chains showing up front or I could just turn it to its side and just have the simpler design sticking out. Let's just see if it looks quite it looks quite nice on the middle finger as well. So that's perfect. So if you want to show off a little bit more of the movable chains, then you just turn it this way, which I think is quite nice and it's quite edgy. So this is really really beautiful. Yeah. And next up is a wedding gift and more diamonds. This is a beautiful gift set from my mother-in-law and it is, just wait up, it is a, so firstly it is a necklace with three drop diamonds. Uh, set in white gold. The diamonds are 0 0.5 carat each and it's so beautiful. I chose this gift because it looks really elegant yet simple and can be used even as an everyday piece or for special events and dinners. Um, similarly, I adore the shimmery white gold around the neckline and the three diamonds is kind of matchy matchy with my engagement ring. So that said, I feel that the three diamonds may be, um, although sometimes the three diamonds may be quite a bit excessive on a few occasions, especially wearing to work for me. Hence, this necklace is really worn but good to have just in case. And don't they say diamonds are a girl's best friend? Um, of course, more will be merrier, right? So my next piece is also full of bling and it is this gorgeous pair of diamond studded earrings which I will bring it up here for you to see. Let's see whether... Um, okay, so let's take it out. Let's see whether you can uh, just have a close-up. Yeah, looks perfect, isn't it? So, this is full of bling and this is a gorgeous pair of diamond studded earrings with many, many, many diamonds. Uh, the center stone is made of six diamonds and the loop on top is made of many smaller ones. Um, I have here uh, the certificate with me and uh, which states there are about 50 small diamonds within. So, which is really a lot of bling. This set of earrings was also a wedding gift, which I thoroughly love so much and in my opinion, is a real classic piece. So, I love it. But I really rarely wear it. So, yeah, unfortunately, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. So, these are one... <laughs> Beautiful. Moving on to a few more designer items out of my latest haul from Cartier from Paris. And if you missed that video and the Cartier Paris experience, I will leave the links up here and down in the description section below. My favorite purchase in, is in this little box. And this is the gorgeous Panther ring in rose gold from Cartier. If I'm not wrong, let me take it out. Yeah. Right. So if I'm not wrong, this ring is probably the most basic, at least uh, in bling, in the Pantier range. But I love it so much for the simplicity. As you can tell, I do have quite a lot of bling in my other pieces. So I was hoping to get a ring of, su of substantial amount of gold surface, but with um, an elegant, classy design. And I am totally loving the Severite details and the Onyx uh, detail of this Panther ring. Though I preferred the yellow gold version, but I am quite thankful there was the rose gold version for me because the thickness of this ring makes the amount of gold quite a lot and substantial and I feel that the yellow gold may be a tad too bright and obvious while the rose gold tone makes it more subtle. I use this ring more as a statement piece and for dressy occasions, but this is definitely not for everyday wear. 
Can you see the details? It is so gorgeous. I have to wear this ring a bit more and then I will give you do a review of this ring. Isn't it beautiful? So we have like white gold and then rose gold. So pretty. Can you see the details? Yeah. It's gorgeous, isn't it? And my next piece in my collection was added due to FOMO and I really wanted an edgy yet classic design from Cartier and this is not the Love collection but from the Just Unclue collection so ta -da, this gorgeous little ring in small size is in the yellow gold and I am so glad I went with what suited my finger size and skin tone I was initially tossing between the thicker JUC ring but that turned out too chunky for my liking but rather I found the slim version suited me better this ring is simple enough to be worn alone or is perfect as a stacking ring as well which is good for me to start curating my fine jewellery collection also from some reviews it seems like some ladies were complaining that the nail head does stick into the flesh but not in my case so i really enjoy having this ring in my fine jewellery collection uh, capsule collection so pretty i think gold goes really nice as well and somehow it kind of matches my manicure today yay and my only bracelet in my collection is also from Cartier and this is the Just On Clue slim bracelet in yellow gold I like things that come in sets and which makes it feel more complete to me and overall, I do have a small uh, wrist and I do have issues uh, with bracelets of that will fit my size this is gorgeous so overall I tend to have um, issues with bracelets um, as I have quite a petite size wrist and most of the free size bracelets will dangle down or even those with toggle chains so I find myself rarely drawn to bracelets at all um, however, I was quite delighted that Cartier has now made smaller sizes with their love bracelets going down to size 14 or so, which is amazing news for small wrist ladies like myself. This JUC slim uh, bracelet is the slim size, which also means the nail head does not pop out like the thicker, chunkier versions. The only issue with this bracelet, which I only realized, is that it is quite hard to slip it on and off yourself. And I only realized this when I started to put it on myself at home. Because at the boutique, usually the SA will wear it for you or open it up uh, like this. So I just have to slide my wrist in. Um, so it is probably the only downside to this bracelet. But overall, I really enjoy the matchy matchy. Uh, just include design with my ring. Some of you did ask if both the slim version ring and the bracelet has the same nail head size and just to answer your question it's a no as you can see the one on the bracelet is way bigger as compared to the one in, uh, of the ring. Yeah. So uh, the nail head of the bracelet will be proportional to itself while the one on the ring is definitely smaller. I enjoy the simplicity of this bracelet and how well uh, the fit is to my wrist size. I do like the wrist stack look so I will definitely be on the lookout for more bracelets in future. I think it is nice to mix and match yellow gold with rose gold so that will perhaps be on my wish list. Well, I really enjoy sharing with you ladies my fine jewellery minimalist capsule collection. Most of the pieces are simple and great for everyday wear, but yet classy and elegant enough for events as well. Being true to my style and preference, I will probably be looking out for more necklaces and bracelets to add to my fine jewellery collection. I recently enjoyed dressing in more neutral shades and making the look more elevated with designer accessories, diamonds, and with a matching designer handbag as well. Ultimately, diamonds and gold are a lady's best friend and are to be used, cherished and passed down for perhaps generations. 
I thank you for watching till the end of this video and hope you enjoy my very small fine jewelry minimalist capsule collection. I would love to hear what you have in your collection so do drop me your comments down below and I would love to hear if any of you ladies with small wrists have any recommendations in terms of bracelets that work well for you. I hope you subscribe to my channel, hit that like button and stay tuned because I have very important news to share next week.